Lilybug's birthday is coming. The only people who are celebrating it are not her family members. These people are from Sussex Community Events. This is what they posted. They are the one celebrating this invisible kid's birthday. They are more excited than you and I or anybody on earth. <laughs> Obviously, we are not excited because they, she doesn't exist. But you get my point. When it comes to fakeness, there is no other people better than this Sussex Community Events squad. <laughs> Sussex squad, right? We have also reports suggesting that Meghan Markle is in panic mode because Eugenie is questioning Lilibet's existence with the with Ernest's birthday photos, with her own son's birthday photos. I'm not going to be delving much more into this because I would let it up to you to decide what you think. Would Eugenie contest with Meghan Markle? Ask her. I want to see proof. Oh, let me know. I don't think that will happen because Eugene is a spy. Now, <laughs> this is where things get very, very interesting. This person, she wrote, the official office of CB, uh, basically made a very good point. She so said that these two alleged kids, if we pass them in the street, which is very convenient when you are hid hiding behind a pack of lies, you will not be able to identify you, uh, this little girl, Lily Bat. Again, uh, who knows uh, whose daughter she is but uh, if you go and pass by this little child you'll not be able to say oh I have seen her somewhere you'll not be able to trace her at all well co quite conveniently I mean every time you want to see Lilibet's photo from Sussex squad you don't really have to go too far they all the time fake these photos this is a photo posted by Mary happy birthday little princess Lilibet Diana it could be anybody from the internet. I mean, you can just go to Google and search a baby. They will give you millions of options. So <laughs> when it comes to fakeness and bringing actual kid, they fail miserably. I mean, fakeness, yeah, they are number one. But uh, for real kids, the Sussex squad, they fail miserably. They just copy and paste somebody from the internet. Voila, this is who Lilibet is. But this is according to one... Uh, Twitter is what Lilibet looks like. <laughs> this is real Lilibet. Uh, obviously, Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, they stole her photo and all that, which uh, we will talking about more in a second. But this is what Lilibet looks like, and this is how it should be. Well, I mean, when we talk about Meghan Markle, you know, um, having babies, forget about baby. She doesn't even ha know how to hold a baby. Take a look at this one. I mean, Catherine is very very comfortable and look at Meghan Markle how uncomfortable she is she is really I mean if she is a real mother would you think that she will be struggling to keep a baby to herself I don't think so but Catherine I mean being the real mom this is how real mom they you know take care of the children just like real mom <laughs> Meghan Markle on the other hand oh my god I don't know what to do with the little baby <laughs> I don't know. but you know, when she tries to fake her pregnancy and all that, uh, she is coming across so pathetic and miserable with all of her lies. Of course, the biggest lie is this one. Uh, taking the name from Queen Elizabeth, telling us, oh, she took permission from her. That is a big lie. Queen Elizabeth won't go by Lilibet nickname after Prince Philip's death. That's something that was posted after Prince Philip passed away. And now this one, Harry and Meghan did not ask Queen to use Lilibet name, palace source. I mean, how many more evidence proof you need that Meghan Markle stole that name for this invisible surrogate kid in order to make big bucks, as some of you refer Lilibet as Lily Bucks. This is absolutely so mind boggling and at the same time very, very true because the name in itself can be used as a brand and Megan and Harry can end up making a lot of money from it. When we talk about Harry's cringe, you know, uh, talk in public, we actually see that quite often, uh, especially when it comes to telling us about Lily Bat and Archie. Harry is so cringe, so cringe. Take a look at this interview from Stephen Here's Colbert. another lovely family photo. Your daughter Lilibet your son Archie, of course your wife Megan, your daughter Lilibet is named in her honor. Having children helps us remember those that we've lost. 
Um, do you see your mother or your grandparents in any of your children? Definitely my mum. Um, the ginger gene is a strong one. Look at that. <laughs> Both of them. The Spencer Both. gene is very, very strong. I actually really genuinely thought at the beginning of my relationship that should this go the distance uh, and then we have kids, that there's no way the ginger gene will stand up to my wife's genes, but I was wrong. Okay, so again, this is so cringe to watch um, Harry talking about Mega Markle and Ginger Jane and all this nonsense stuff. He did not give cr any credit of Lilibet, his invisible surrogate kid, to his family, his father's side, William, or his uh, grandmother, uh, Lilibet. I mean, you took the name from her for your daughter, and you are not willing to give her any credit. You talk about Princess Diana only, okay, no problem, you talk about Princess Diana, no problem, we understand she is your mother, but what about other family members, Prince Harry? I mean, this is the level of ungratefulness she show, he shows all the time, wherever he goes. At the same time, he is very, very cringe to watch. I mean, look at his body posture and the whole thing, it is so cringy. Your children? Definitely my mum. Um, the ginger gene is a strong one. Look at that. <laughs> Definitely my mom. Then why did you take the name from your grandmother? What was the point? You stole the name from her. You're not even willing to give her any credit. It's just my mom. How pathetic, miserable this person is and how great, ungrateful he is towards that lady who, whose name he stole with his uh, wife, uh, Duplicitous Duos. Now, obviously, there are a lot of photoshops going on w when we see Lilibet uh, photos. This is something I find interesting. Uh, take a look. Do you see something here? Okay, so the Queen and the Prince Philip, they're, you know, f being sh photoshopped, looking at the, this little baby, Archie. But the original photo, according to this person, is actually this one. They were talking to this horse or this phony, and um, they just copied and pasted it. Uh, do you see Megan, um, Doria, <laughs> Harry? I mean, you can easily Photoshop a lot of stuff. So Megan, Harry, yeah, of course, when it comes to uh, Lilibet, uh, Archie, their kids, they, they always fake things and they always Photoshop stuff. And this one is something I found to be very, very interesting. Like, take a look. Megan panics as... Uh, Stess, her name is Stess Schroeder, Schroeder, confirms on IG she lent out daughter Hartford to pose as Lilibet. Can you believe this? I mean, this is this is what I believe because um, this daughter, you can see, this is Lily, but this is Lily too. But this is actually her daughter that she gave to or lent, or, or lent to Megan and Harry for photo pose and all that. And this is another <laughs> photo find very interesting. Here is who Lily looks like. Hard for Stacy, oh, okay. uh, Stacy uh, Shorter's daughter. Uh, so same same uh, child, but um, to be claimed by two different parents. Uh, but we know at the end of the day, this is Stacy Stacy Shorter's daughter. What we understand from here, because Stacy uh, Shorter, uh, she has more evidence proof that this child belonged to her than Megan Markle. So why would you not believe Stacy? Stacy? Okay, so this, there is another one when uh, I say, uh, you know, talk about renting kid. This is so, when they go for vacation, so this is the real mother looks like according to this post. And um, this is what Megan also claims to be Lilibet. <laughs> so again, just before her birthday, we are, you know, uncovering all of this truth and fact and whatnot to show you guys um, how Megan Markle has conned us all um, to make the make us believe uh, her lies when we know she cannot be getting away with all of these lies from us. Maybe the monarchy would not take action, but we are here to talk about this. When I made this video and I, I made mention of this, I told you guys that this is Meghan Markle who is panicking just before Lily's birthday. Uh, because uh, people are more and more people are questioning. So uh, this is actually a you know a thumbnail from a YouTube video. They're saying that Eugenie is now furious. Uh, you have to show me proof about Princess Lilibet. Um, I don't know, but uh, I, I don't know if this story is true. If whether you know uh, Eugenie is asking Meghan Markle for proof of Archie and Lily, I don't know about that. Let me know in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.